Can you rewire your brain at home? You can using CBT, Cognitive Behavioral Therapy. FMRIs, which are called functional MRIs, have actually shown that our brains change using cognitive behavioral therapy with a therapist in an office. It's been shown to be the most effective type of therapy, and we can use it to create inquiries and change our lives at home. Each of you knows if you want or need therapy and, and therapists are very valuable. What I want to share with you today is how you can leverage techniques of CBT, cognitive behavioral therapy, at home to improve your outlook and improve your life. The areas I'm going to cover are something called locus of control, using CBT to question your thoughts before they become feelings. Can you change your feelings? And can you use CBT to change your behaviors? Therapists definitely do. What's the interaction between our identity and CBT? Finally, this notion that CBT is goal-oriented. This is not about peeling back the scabs and looking at all of the problems in our lives and all the ways that we are filled with faults. In fact, it's about only focusing on the things that are going to move you forward in your life. It is not navel gazing. Let's jump in. Cognitive behavioral therapy to rewire your brain starts with the locus of control. What do I mean by that? It's actually pretty simple. Delineate what is me and under my control and what is not. You may say, my thoughts, my feelings are under my control, or you may say, he makes me feel that way. That's a great inquiry, a great, great question to have. Can someone make you feel a certain way? Or is that a thought that you had about that person that then got wrapped into a feeling and an emotion and a behavior? Things that we can't control perhaps our government, actions and behaviors of others, even our environment. Sometimes we don't have control over that. This can look like output versus outcome. We can control our actions, but often there's a lot of external things that also happen to control whether our actions lead to the outcome that we want. How can you use locus of control and CBT to improve what you're doing? The way that I do it, which may be helpful for you, is I do question whether something is in my control or isn't in my control. And if it's not in my control, number one, I try to let it go the best I can. And number two, I try to refocus on what is in my control and what I can do in a positive way to move forward towards my goals. Cognitive behavioral therapy at home to question our thoughts. Why would we question our thoughts? We just think, my boss hates me, he adores me, I'm amazing, can lead to emotions, feelings, and even actions later on. If we think we're the best thing since sliced bread, we won't be able to take in constructive criticism. We won't be able to grow and learn. If we think nobody likes us, nobody wants to hang out with us, it will lead to poor emotions, but it will change our actions. We won't reach out to people. These things can become self-fulfilling prophecies. The point of CBT is not to think about how your thoughts are ruining your emotions and ruining your actions. It's to stop at the thought and to question that thought before it becomes an emotion, before it becomes a negative feeling. How do we do that? The first thing is just does that make sense? The second, which I find very useful, is to introduce some conflicting thoughts. Introduce the exact opposite. He doesn't like me. He doesn't like himself. I don't like me. And it doesn't matter whether these sound silly or whether they make sense. What matters is that you're introducing a lot of opposite thoughts. Our ancestral brain that wants to just focus on one thing, i.e. survival, doesn't like so it will throw them all out. That's a way to question your thoughts and get rid of the ones that you don't want. And this can lead to far less emotional trauma and can help you rewire yourself so that you're going towards your goals. Before anything gets embedded in an emotion, be mindful, notice your thoughts, and question the ones that aren't serving you. 
Rewire your brain by changing your feelings using cognitive behavioral therapy. Really? Changing my emotions? How many times have we been told nobody can question what you feel? You just feel that. Instead of saying, I think this or I believe this, just say, I feel that and no one will ever be able to question you because you only know what you feel. That may be true, but it gets a lot of emotions and feelings that don't serve us embedded in us. How do we get them out? You backtrack. How did that emotion start? What is the thought behind that feeling? What is the thought behind that emotion? An emotion of disappointment. You might start saying, he made me feel disappointed because he didn't come to this party or he forgot to tell me something or she forgot to tell me something. They made me feel disappointed. But then if you back up, the original thought was he didn't come to the party or she didn't come to the party or she didn't notify me of something and therefore doesn't care about me and therefore I'm disappointed. Original thought was he doesn't care or she doesn't care. Start at that thought, back out of that, come up with some opposites, come up with some alternatives and dislodge those thoughts that aren't serving you before they become emotions. To dislodge emotions and feelings that aren't serving you or are causing you suffering, back up into the thought that started you on that path to that emotion and that feeling. It all starts with the thoughts. Rewiring your brain can be done using CBT to change your behaviors. If I feel emotional about something, then I may say, gosh, I'm feeling so sad, I'm feeling so emotional, I'm gonna eat candy, I'm gonna eat sugar. There's a lot to unpack there. This idea that candy and sugar are gonna reduce my suffering is an interesting thought to debunk. And there's the original emotion to unpack. Why am I feeling sad and what thought led me into that sadness? Am I sad and lonely because I feel like people don't care about me? Do I feel that way because I had a thought that led me into that emotion? What CBT says is it all starts with our thoughts. We wanna question our thoughts before they become emotions, but we can't always do that. Once they become emotions, then we may makes actions based on emotion, which is what most of us do, then we're acting in a way that doesn't serve us. We want to keep backing that out, keep unraveling it. And you can journal about this. You can think about it. If you're taking an action, what emotion does it attach to? And then that emotion, what original thought does that attach to? And then how can you question that thought? Bring in some opposites, bring in some alternatives so that the thoughts that pass through your mind that then become embedded as emotions are thoughts and emotions that serve you to reach your goals and to have behaviors that really help you along the way to your dreams. If you're enjoying this video so far, which I hope you are, go ahead and hit follow and I'll continue on. Rewiring our brain with CBT has got to include identity. Why do I say that? These are the thoughts about yourself. When we're questioning thoughts in cognitive behavioral therapy, one of the most important things is to question what we think about ourselves. Not about our situation or about other people, but am I valuable? Does anybody care? Am I useful? Do I see myself as successful? What does success mean to me? Question all of these. Look at the thoughts that lead to negative emotions. It doesn't mean that we can't ever have a negative emotion if we only were positive all of the time, it wouldn't serve us. It's very hard to figure out what is positive with a lack of negative. It's the negative emotions that lead to behaviors that don't take you towards your goals. Cognitive behavioral therapy focuses on making sure that you remove the barriers that are stopping you from reaching your full fulfilled self and the goals that you want. It is not about removing every single negative feeling. So back to identity. If you're thinking about yourself in a way that stops you from reaching your dreams, that you're telling yourself you can't do it, or you're not going to reach your goals, or you've never done it before. That's when you want to go in and say, okay, why am I thinking that? And what are some other thoughts? What are some other data points that go directly against that? That as you change your behaviors, as you move towards your goals, your identity comes along in lockstep so that you don't fall back into an old negative identity. 
it's key to spend some time thinking about the identity that you want when you live this new life that you're moving into as you achieve your goals. CBT or cognitive behavioral therapy is all about reaching our goals and our dreams. Why does this matter? Of course, our goals and our dreams matter. The thing that separates cognitive behavioral therapy from a lot of other therapies is that we're not out searching for problems. We're searching for solutions. Cognitive means your mind and behavioral is what behaviors do we want to think about? What behaviors do we want to change in order to reach our goals? When you look at your behaviors, ask yourself what emotions are those behaviors coming out of? For instance, I'm really disappointed or I'm really sad and then I end up eating ice cream or avoiding a certain person. The behavior of avoiding that person stemmed from the emotion that I was feeling. And that emotion stemmed from some thought I have about that person or about how I'm gonna feel when I'm with that person or how that person makes me feel, although I am the only one that controls how I feel. Cognitive behavioral therapy is not about thinking what are all the negatives that have happened in our life and diving into every single emotion, navel gazing, picking scabs and looking at what's underneath. It is not about that. It is about achieving your goals and looking for any roadblocks, looking for any blind spots that are stopping you from achieving your goals. And those are often first seen as behaviors that you're doing, certain actions you're doing are getting in the way of you achieving those goals. And the act of cognitive behavioral therapy is to look at that behavior and see what emotion that came out of and what thought that emotion came out of and then go question that thought, go to the source and that will allow you to change your behavior. I'd love to know if this video helped and if so, what were you most surprised about? Locus of control, question your thoughts, maybe that behaviors come out of emotions and feelings or that you can back everything up to a thought, question it and get rid of it. The interaction between cognitive behavioral therapy, our brain and our own identity of ourselves, or the fact that cognitive behavioral therapy is just about us being able to achieve our best self, whatever that means, and not truly about therapy for therapy's sake. What will you change? What did you learn? I'd love to hear from you. I hope you like this video. Hit subscribe if you want to see more and check out my other videos to join the best conversations on your health. You can find me in these channels on social media. Yeah.